Have you ever spent a huge amount of time, money, or resources trying to solve a problem only to realize that the solution was staring at you the whole time and it was actually the simplest one? A lot of times in business, we are faced with these problems that we we turn into these overly complex issues. And I want to talk today about the, the path of least resistance. Identifying that nine times out of 10, the simplest solution is the best one. If anyone out there right now wants to improve their business, I want you to call it the path of least resistance challenge. And I want you to think of small, little challenges, the smallest. I want you to find the smallest. Don't look for the big problems. Look for the small problems that are currently in your business. And I want you to come up with the simplest solution to them you can. So in Monday night, the example that I gave in the session was we were going to look at your current lead generation. What's a small problem that you've got there? I need more work. And the example I gave on Monday night was from a conversation I'd had with a client on Monday. They've been racking their brains around how to get more leads into their business. And we identified that currently in their business model, and we're talking about a big business here, they're doing six, 700K a month. So decent size. And we identified that at this point in time, they spend about $15,000 a month on ads. And I said to them, okay, you've currently got two salespeople, which means that to feed each salesperson with enough leads, you are spending $7,500 on ads. And you want to put another salesperson on. Yeah. I was like, then why don't we just spend another $7,500 on ads? And they were like, well, I guess we could do that. Like, of course, there are other variables that are going to come into play with that. But with the business their size, that was affordable. They have the cash flow to easily do that and still hit their margins. I'm like, why are we sitting here for an hour having a conversation about a solution for this? When if we just go with the simplest solution, which is do more of what is already working, we solve the problem. Yep. Done, great, go try it. Then we can talk about it. Now let's go to sales. Right now, what is stopping you from increasing your current conversion metrics? The ring. And the Dark Lord. I asked a simple question. Who knows their conversion metric? One person. One person in a call with our new clients was able to put their hand up. So simple way to fix this. Simplest way is what we measure, we can improve. It almost instantly happens. I love that. Data. Data is king. Yep. So therefore, a simple solution. If right now your sales are not where you want them to be, start actually tracking what your conversion percentages are. Mm -hmm. Secondly was... All right, well, if I measure it, how could I increase my conversions? What's a simple thing I can do? The number one thing that people take into account when sales are being talked about is time until solution. So if you're wanting to increase the amount of quotes you're having accepted, then get your quotes out faster. Time until solution does not mean that you actually get the job done. It means that you provide a solution to the person so they feel like something is going to be done. So if you want to right now win more jobs, then start quoting faster. Next one was team. Right now, oh, I don't know if I need another staff member. Can you grow the business with the current amount of staff you have? Yes or no? No. No. No, great, hire someone. Now, yes, we can get into efficiencies and we can get into all these other things. But if right now you effectively earn the maximum amount or close to that you can earn with a billable resource and you can't get any more in there, then hire someone. But that seems so simple. Administration. And I called it operations, but I'm also throwing administration in and around that. I keep missing lots and lots of calls for jobs and I'm not able to get back to them and give them a quote because I'm not able to have the time set aside to do the administrational work within the business, getting the quotes done over the phone and so on. And I said, okay, cool. So what are you, what's the actual problem? What are you missing? They said, well, we're just missing calls. I was like, okay, cool. So why don't you reach out to a company that can take those calls? Dream Admin, Office HQ. They charge you per call. Now they're being answered. Simple solution. If something's happening, look for the simplest possible way. Even something as simple as, okay, I'm going to call back everyone in this time block that I'm putting yep. aside. If you don't want to pay someone else, you're going to have a half hour block at the end of the day or 45 minutes or an hour, whatever you think it's going to take. And you have that blocked out and you get back to everyone and you might do it every day at a certain time. You set up an automated text message. Yeah. That when a missed call happens, an automatic text message goes out. Yeah, we will. And see, I love this because now you're in the mindset of thinking for the simplest possible solution for the problem. Next one 
was efficiency. I just went, who actually tracks efficiency? Uh, Two people. Not many people. Not many, if any. And so it was great, okay, great. Once again, if you measure it, it will improve. So first step is measure it. How do we measure it? Time we pay people versus time we can bill them for. Amount of money that we can extract from one billable resource versus the amount that we do. Whichever way you want to go about it, go about it that way. But first step, measure it. Last one that we did on that call was lifestyle. What is one small thing that you could have in your life right now that would make an impact, that would make a change, that would make you happy? Putting my feet up on a settle after a hard day's work. I said, great, do it. All right, so as I said, challenge for all of you. What I want you to do is, I want you to think about it. What is one small challenge I'm currently faced with in leads? What is currently one small challenge I'm faced with in my current sales process, in my current team? And you might just be you. Maybe that's the problem. Yep, in my current administrational space, in my current efficiencies, resource allocation, and in my current lifestyle. Write them down and then simply solve them in the simplest possible way. And if you need help, reach out. It's over now. Thank <laughs> you.